guys welcome to yet another episode of conversations and thank you so much for getting us to a hundred thousand subscriptions and we are still urging you guys please do continue subscribing to the channel and uh, liking the video so that they are recommended to your family and friends now 2022 has been a very dramatic year with uh, motor vehicle prices going to an all-time high it has become very expensive to buy a foreign used car but there are still some vehicles that are very well priced and still very classy very trendy that you can also get at a budget and that is why on this episode we are talking about the best priced cars of 2022 and as usual a conversations is that channel that is going to guarantee you an alluring motor vehicle experience i'll be your conversologist for this uh, particular episode or this dose of conversita more eric wakabi eric with a ck do follow me at a personal level on facebook twitter and instagram also you can follow conversations because we value your feedback and we like it when you share and chat with us about episodes that we we should bring you and uh, that is why we are doing episodes like this one uh, after 100k subs because it can only get better we are trying to give you solutions and alternatives to spend your money in the best way when you're buying your car so do share your feedback on conversations on facebook twitter and instagram conversations is our official handle car number seven is a multi-purpose vehicle a seven seater that people not so many people talk about so which car is that it's the mazda bianca the Mazda Biante looks very good. It is very stylish, although it does not employ Mazda's uh, Kodo design language. In fact, it's the black sheep of Mazda. It is somewhere, it is not as big as the Voxia or Noah, but it's not as small as the Wish. It's somewhere in between. It can comfortably sit seven and it is very reliable and fuel economical. So if you're looking for a seven seater at the budget of 1.5 to 1.6 million Kenya shillings, you will get a very clean foreign used Mazda Biante. And that makes it one of the best priced seven seaters in the Kenyan market space today. So if you are considering buying a seven seater on a budget that is not locally used and that is reliable still uh, with very good fuel economy, consider the 2014-2015 Mazda Biante. Car number six also comes from the Mazda family. And again, that's a car that nobody really talks about or gives a big deal about. It is still a seven-seater but competes directly to cars like the Toyota Wish and the uh, Honda Odyssey. Now, it is more spacious, it's big, and again, it's very fuel economical. It's very comfortable, especially if you get a Singapore spec. What car am I talking about? If you get it from Singapore, it will come in as the Mazda 8. Yes, and if you get it from uh, Japan, it will come in as the Mazda MPV. Again, this car is uh, retailing for around 1.4 to 1.5 million Kenya shillings. And again, it carries Mazda's uh, history of reliability when it comes to the petrol engines. And it is very easy to maintain. And it's a car that you should actually uh, do consider buying. In terms of looks, it does look good. Uh, and it's not a very common car. It's not, as we used to say, cliche. It's a car that uh, you will... It, it's a solidly built car because you cannot compare its build quality to that of a Toyota Wish. And then uh, uh, the other thing, the other beauty of it is that it's uh, selling less for less compared to the Wish. So if you're buying a family seven-seater that is smaller than the Mazda, uh, than the Mazda Biante, uh, something that uh, an alternative alternative to the Toyota Wish or to the Honda Odyssey, uh, consider buying the Mazda MPV or if you get it from Singapore, the Mazda 8. Car number five happens to come from the Suzuki family. Which car are we talking about? Before I mention it, uh, remember cars such as the Honda Fit and the, you know, Honda Fit, uh, the Mazda Demio, the Toyota Vits, they are above the 1 million Kenya shillings mark which is making them, if you try to look at the value for money, that is quite expensive for what they have to offer. But if you're looking for a sub 1 million Kenya shillings uh, vehicle mark, uh, point, uh, maybe an, a vehicle that will serve you efficiently, very fuel economical, very spacious, well, you might consider a Suzuki Swift, but the Suzuki Swift and the Nissan Note have also gone above the 1 million Kenya shillings mark. Now, there is one car that is left, and it's ultimately becoming very popular on Kenyan roads. Which car is that? We are talking about the spacious Suzuki Solio. This is a car that is retailing for around 800,000 uh, Kenya shillings. It, is not, uh, it does not have small engines such as, say, the Daihatsu Move or the other one. The other sub 1000 cc cars it's actually uh, is powered by a 
1200 cc engine which it makes it you know at par with the nissan note uh, and again it is very economical you can use it for taxi or you can use it for uh, family for moving from point a to point b it might not be a performer but the 2015 suzuki solio uh well Again, it does look boxy, but with the 2015 variant, the, the lights have become more stylish. So it is becoming a very stylish car. The unique selling point for the Solio, uh, apart from price, is also the space. Because let me tell you guys, the space in a Suzuki Solio is underrated. It's a car, if you're moving from point A to point B, you want a budget car that will not consume so much fuel and that is reliable as well, consider the 2015 Suzuki Solio. Car number four is a toyota yeah i know it sounds uh it sounds awkward having a well-priced toyota but this car is value for money especially because you're buying it for a new it combines reliability it, it combines style and uh, again it is not a car it's a car that is out of the ordinary a car that will make you stand out in spite of the fact uh, that it's a toyota it's one of the more it's one of the well-built toyotas uh, it's one of the Toyotas that has a very good safety ratings and again it is a performer uh, wide variety of engines and which car are we talking about we are talking about the 2015 uh, Toyota Avensis wagon it is big uh, you can get also the sedan variant of it it's restyled it does not look as hideous as the previous uh, you know um, Avensis in fact I find it very attractive it, it it sets you aside from you know guys who own premiums and fielders it's it's a a toyota that looks refined a toyota that gives you you know that that unique look and still gives you reliability because it does not carry the d4 engines of the previous avensis uh, however it is a car that uh, you know it's not for everyone not so many people have embraced the avensis but it's a very 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 nice car it is very well built and that is and it and the other reason why I find this car underrated is because it's retailing for around 1.7 to 1.8 million Kenya shillings. Now, considering you're buying a fielder for around 1.6 to 1.7 million Kenya shillings, the Avensis is an all-time better choice. It's value for money. You know, it, it, it's, it's on a niche of its own. It does not compete with so many. And again, it has that mature look. And if you're still looking for reliability and economy, it's an easy to maintain car. Consider the 2015 Toyota Avensis. For the lovers of um, big sedans, uh, like the Mazda Tens or the Mark X, there is a new option in the line. And it's a car that looks very serious. It's from Europe. It will give you performance and fuel economy at the same time. Well, it might be a bit expensive to maintain, but if you look at the cost-benefit analysis, it's an ultimate deal. It's a car that looks very good. It's very stylish. It's very unique. And it's becoming common. You know, one of the unique selling points of this car is basically this performance, the looks. Yeah, because it's something that ultimately might go. It looks better even than a Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Uh, which car are we talking about? It's a car from France, and it's the Peugeot 508. Yes, the Peugeot 508 is going for around 2 million Kenya shillings. Uh, higher, higher, higher spec options are going for around 2.2, uh, which is almost the same price you're getting for a Mazda Atenza Petrol. So we know Mazda has been that... Uh, you know, game changer when it comes to Toyota alternatives. But now it's slowly becoming something we see every day. Yeah, and it's also being uh, priced ridiculously, especially the petrol versions, which are the most reliable attenders. Uh, the price tags are a bit ridiculous considering what they have to do. So instead of getting that attenza and you're looking for style, serious style, you want to look like your person in Mercedes-Benz territory or even in BMW territory or Audi territory, consider getting the Peugeot 508 it's a combination of style it's a combination of refinement and performance yeah well when it comes to maintenance you know european vehicles are a bit more expensive to maintain however for what for getting it for around two million kenya shillings i think the slightly higher maintenance costs are worth every penny so if you're shopping around for a good sedan good looking sedan your budget is around two million kenya shillings please do consider the peugeot 508
Car number two happens to come from the Nissan family. It is ultimately one of the most reliable Nissans, one of the best performing Nissans uh, that are accessible for Kenyans to buy. It does feature a couple of engines, one of them being a Mercedes-Benz engine and a Mercedes-Benz powertrain. We have reviewed this car in the past in uh, this channel. It's a car that we all, most people love. It features an automatic transmission, does not really carry the problems that Nissans are associated with because it's made for performance it's made for style it's made it's made for looks yeah which car are we talking about we are talking about the nissan or the infinity skyline yeah nissan infinity skyline yeah that that is that is one of the cars that you know it's is loved by many it has competed against the mark x the toyota crown um uh, it's even competing against its own Nissan Fuga, <laughs> its own brothers and sisters. Well, it is, and it's not as problematic. Well, if you if you are a lover of big engines, you can get it in V6 configurations. If you are a lover of small turbocharged engines, you can still get it with the Mercedes-Benz M271 engine and the even the 7G Tronic uh, automatic uh, transmission. So it's literally one of those Nissans that are very well priced with a very good build quality and that will give you whatever you want. It's a versatile car, and again, it's a car with a very good track record. So how much is the Nissan's O Infinity Skyline going for? If you buy it as a Nissan, it will retail for around 1.7, uh, 1.8 million Kenyan shillings. But if you get the Infinity uh, version of it, the Infinity Skyline, you'll be getting it for, say, uh, give or take 2 million, and that gives that car you know, considering that a premium is selling for 2 million Kenya shillings, the Infinity or Nissan Skyline is an ultimate, you know, it's, it's, it's a good buy. It's a very well-priced car. It also carries with it style and reliability and refinement. Because today we are looking for a car that you will not spend so much money on, but will give you value. So, and that's why the Nissan Skyline makes it uh, to car number two in this particular list. Before we go to car number one, allow me to remind you guys to continue subscribing to the channel. We have uh, reached the silver button and uh, once the silver button gets here, we are going to unpack it with you guys on one of the episodes. And we continue to urge you, please do subscribe. Let's grow the channel. Uh, thank you for making us the first motoring channel in Eastern and Central Africa to hit the silver button. Asante Nisana. Thank you for the love. But And uh, now, since Conversations is uh, our mantra is Kai Zen, continuous improvement, we have brought you an even better platform and it's coming up. We are launching it within the next two months. It's a platform that will enable you to seamlessly buy a car without any hassle. It's an exciting project, but we are going to let you know about it very, very, very soon. Now, let, uh, away from that, let's get to car number one. And uh, by the way, don't forget to like uh, and share the video so that... Uh, Again, so many people who are looking for cars can be able to get rich uh, of this video and get the insightful information that we give. So car number one, car number one is stylish, yes? It's economical, and I have to give it up for the looks of this car. It also comes from France. Which car are we talking about? We are talking about the 2015 Peugeot 308. It's bigger than the legendary 208. It shares a lot of parts with the 208, but it's bigger. It's better. It looks even much more, you know, it even looks better compared to, you know, other cars that you might be getting for uh, 1.5 million Kenya shillings. It directly competes with the Mazda Axela. And if you ask me, between the two, so if you're looking for performance and economy in the same pack, uh, well, the Axela might be easier to maintain, but the 308 ultimately looks better than the Axela. It's a bit, it costs slightly more to maintain, but again, it will give you, uh, you know, better performance because that car can perform. It will give you a variety of trim levels and, the st it, it, you know, it makes you stand out. You know, Mazda Zimekua Mingi, they are no longer a looker. So if you're looking to, to spend your money wisely and still look good, still look, still stand out from the crowd, because these days, I don't think you can stand out in a Mazda anymore. Mazdas are good cars, but uh, if you want to really stand out, you can consider the Peugeot 308, and it's an ultimate deal. So if you're looking for a car, 1.5 million Kenya shillings, that's a car you should be looking at. Sometimes if you import it, you'll get it for as low as 1.4 million Kenya shillings, 1.35, and that's the 308 is an ultimate good buy because even the lowest specs do come with some very, very good features. I hope this video has been insightful. I've been your host, your Canvasologist, serving you the Friday dose of Canvasitamo. Remember, you can follow me at a personal level on your Tuonge. Uh, 
Eric Okabi, Eric with a CK on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Remember, conversations after 100 K subs, our theme is it can only get better because we are going to bring you better content and a few surprises here and there. And again, uh, the boys and I are going to celebrate conversations at 100K in a way that I'm sure you guys would like, really like to see. Uh, but don't worry, it's coming up before even you go for elections. So, so, so uh, um, I hope that this, do share your feedback about this particular episode on our on our Facebook page, uh, Twitter, and also, Insta and also Instagram, conversations uh, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Remember, if you want us to come to TikTok, tell us in the comments. We're not doing TikTok. So, so, over and out, guys. Enjoy the weekend. Drive safe. Take care of yourselves. Namvai Sweta. Sasa. So, so.